All right, everybody, after a tremendous amount of trial and error, I'm going to do my first uh, kind of review of this trailer because the new one drops uh, sometime tomorrow. So let us take a look-see and uh, enjoy, all right? So uh, we'll watch it once silently, and then I'll kind of go over a few things and uh, a few... Uh, how do we say... Predictions? Yeah. Alright. These creatures were here before us. And if we're not careful... They're gonna be here after. Welcome to Jurassic World. Well, all right. So, uh, in my opinion, trailer looks pretty doggone good. Uh, oh, I shouldn't have moved. Eesh. All right, we're gonna ignore that because I am just I'm tired of technical issues. <laughs> so, all right. So first thing, this part. Um, you can tell that the director has more of a horror film um, presence. The scraping of claws on the side, making that terrifying sound. Uh, and then we get the thrill of Owen having to jump through the Rex's open mouth as it roars to escape danger as the Rex, which in theory is being transported, right, um, off the island during the you know, first hour or so of the movie before they get to the Lockwood Manor, right? So, pretty cool. I like it. I'm glad to see that Rexy is going to make it off the island. The one thing I wonder, though, is, you know, how they are going to use her going forward. I don't want to see her have to save the day yet again. We already know that Blue is going to be fighting the Indoraptor at some point. So, let's carry on here. These creatures were here before us. Alright, that scene is just badass. Seeing this uh, Mosasaur just slowly make its way through the waves. Is it going after the, uh, the guy on the far side over there? Kind of looks like it. And that will be our first um, confirmation there that the Mosasaur, as the website recently said, has gone missing. Well, now we know why. It is not in the possession of the Maserani company. It is, in fact, out and about, possibly having hit up the mainland. <laughs> And then I do like that uh, they show the Indoraptor right here on all fours, something that the toy is plenty capable of. Um, where is it? Ah, yes. The super flexible toy here is quite capable of, uh, which is cool to see that they included that in it as well. And if we're not careful, they're going to be here after. Um, we've seen that many a time. Let's go back to... Look at that face. Um, it has a lot in common with the Indominus. You could see that it was... It probably shares a lot of common uh, DNA splices with the Indominus Rex. You could see that the teeth are really similar. The The mouth, in general, it, the whole skull structure, really, in my opinion, looks very, very, very similar. You know, where it differs drastically, obviously, is its structure uh, of its arms, which it is more willing to use uh, to go on all fours. And then you've also got the fact, obviously, that it has a 
Velociraptor claw, which, as I'm sure you all know by now, is because the base genome is not the Tyrannosaurus this time, it is the Velociraptor, which leads one to believe that this will be an even more intelligent creature. They're gonna be here after. And I hope that's not all we see of the Carnotaurus, because the Carnotaurus is one of my favorite carnivores. And I was so excited to see it in the trailer, but, you know, if it goes out that quickly, eh, kind of a wasted opportunity. Especially giving, given the, um, the uh, source material, you know, these Carnotauruses in the books were capable of uh, the same thing that the Indominus Rex was with the cloaking ability. In, in the books, they actually kept flashing lights on and off to track them, which is pretty cool. Welcome to Jurassic World. And of course, we're all super happy that uh, Jeff Goldblum has decided to be Ian Malcolm once again, so awesome. And I still, I, I love this. I would love this as like a poster. It's super cool, in my opinion. It, as a few other people on YouTube and other, you know, forums and stuff have been saying, it almost, again, it's that horror vibe coming out again. Um, and you get that suspense feeling that the first movie gave us all back in the day. But you also, when you look at that outstretched arm and stuff, it almost gives you the impression of it being like a xenomorph or something. So I think that's kind of cool that, you know, they're also kind of mixing in a horror vibe to this. I really look forward to see what this movie does the second half. All right, and that's it. So, uh, pretty cool. I am really excited to see where they go with this, and uh, I will post a reaction uh, video to the full trailer tomorrow, and I will do an actual reaction, like, you know, haven't watched the damn thing like 400 times already. So, uh, look forward to that, and thanks for watching. I will also be posting a review of the basic blue figure in the Mattel toy line, so I will see you all then, and until next time, deuces!